pretty cool. Okay, um, now let's go back and, oops, sorry, I'm going to take a little sticker. Okay, um, let's move on to, I want to add some fake holes, holes inside this belt. So I originally um, beveled and, and created these awesome holes uh, physically, like I actually made holes inside the geo. Now that really made some ugly geo. And I was like, oh my God, like, do I really want to go in and, and create all these holes? So I was like, no, forget it. Uh, I'm just going to create holes. So uh, to fake those holes, I'm going to create another um, create another layer here. And in here, I'm going to add a black mask again. Uh, I will need, for this material, I will need a, I won't need roughness. I won't need metalness. I will need color. Um, and and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add paint. And then I'm going to... I'm gonna do this. Let's um, how do I want to do this? Um, okay, so first off, I'm gonna go back to the material. I'm gonna go to height. I'm gonna go negative two. Okay, so negative two in the height means that it's gonna bump in to the geo. And then I'm gonna start painting in these holes that I want. Okay, and I'm gonna have to kind of eyeball it. So here's my little holes here. Um, I believe if I go control, no, nope, that's control up, down, no, nope, that's rotating. Jesus, um, let's go back to this. Um, I, then is it? Okay, so it's that there. Okay. Uh, obviously, this is huge, and so the holes are probably like that, probably. Oh. So I'm gonna do, I'm so used to ZBrush, sorry. So if I paint in, just pen sensitive, flow, pen pressure. Okay, so there we go. So I put in a hole there. Now let me see, that looks quite large. Um, I don't know if, quite sure if it's actually that large let's see oh oh yeah that's, that's pretty large okay and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually just gonna change the base color to black to kind of fake that there's a hole there right see that but really there's not a hole um, and then I'm just going to kind of paint this around everything um, so I'm just gonna paint and I don't think anyone's ever going to see the back of this, but if I end up putting this up on to um, Marmoset Viewer or whatever, people might want to take a look at it. So, so I'm just going to do it. Now the holes are looking different sized. That's not good. So I want to try and make sure that it's pretty equal in size here. Um, so I'm just going to do this all the way around. Nope, that, that's too big of a hole. There we go. Okay. Let's see, so that's there. Let's do one right here. No, that's looking pretty. There we go. And then I'll do another one, maybe like over here, just to kind of change it up so it's not like perfectly straight. Now this hole's looking a lot smaller, so I'll have to beef this hole up a tad bit. Um, that 
it still looks a little bit small so let me just make this a little bit bigger there we go and yeah so there we go so now we have a few holes in there they're fake holes obviously they're not actual holes but from a distance i think people will understand what, what it is and then what i'll do as well is if you look at the reference you'll see like there's that little silver spot there so i have to go back to my hold on let me make sure i call this like belt hole or something there we go and then um let me quickly save this as well i'll take a sip here of my drink how's it going stream working yep I'm, I, I see this uh it's going pretty good man i'm um, sorry i don't have multiple monitors when i'm streaming on my laptop so i'll try and um do my work and then i'll i'll, I'll check chat So yeah, so sorry if I don't, um, um, sorry if I don't, uh, answer right away. All right. So here we go. Um, so yeah, so we have that now me saying the whole thing about not being straight and then all of a sudden i notice like these holes um not being straight i had gone in so i'm just going to go back to my my mask here and i'm just going to color it black which will make it disappear i'm going to press x again to invert it um, so i'm just inverting essentially the color that i'm painting okay uh, and now I'm, I'm actually just going to move it so that it's a little bit off centered here so that it looks a little bit more natural something like that there you go okay uh, that doesn't look like a perfect circle so let me just make sure that's a circle okay yeah there we go so there we go and then steel stained i don't know which one i'm using right now for this i think it's yeah so um i'm gonna go into the steel material and i'm just gonna start painting around it to kind of give that um that steel kind of look now this is gonna be really tedious um, definitely not gonna be fun Oh, no, you know what? Dirt. I can, this is a lot easier than I think. So if I just go something like that. Uh, print sensor, make sure my pen's. So if I just do something like that, and then I just go erase, which is two, or you go up here. Uh, make this a lot smaller. Uh, make the, oh, sorry. Make the size a little bit smaller, and I just do something like that. Then now you can. There we go. All right, so it's just a little, little hack there that will help make that work. Um, happy Tuesday, man. Happy Tuesday, dude. Uh, welcome to the stream, by the way. Thank you so much uh, for uh, actually coming to watch. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do that the whole time. I'm going to go one again to brush, and I'm going to... So this looks like it might be a little bit too big. Let's see. We'll see. Uh, no, okay, so that's good. And then I'm gonna go back to two again to erase. I'm just going to erase right inside there, right inside the hole here. And it should create that nice illusion of a hole now, right? So just some nice little tips and tricks there. Obviously, again, I'll be cutting this part out on for YouTube as well, and then I'll post it up as a separate video. Um, for those who aren't able to watch live, uh, there we go. So just go something like that. Go to two. Just going to erase this in here. And there you have it. Um, 
are you in school for design or just streaming for fun? I'm just streaming for fun, to be honest with you. Um, I uh, am actually working. Uh, I work at EA. Um, I don't know if you can you guys see my cool shirt that EA gave me. No, you guys can't see it. Uh, EA gave us, or at least my team gave us some cool shirts uh, last week. Uh, I worked on Garden Warfare uh, two, so um, I get to represent by uh, wearing some PVZ swag. There we go. PVC swag. Um, I mainly stream video editing and motion graphics animation. This is cool to see. Oh, cool, man. Cool. Uh, are you a student as well, or are you a professional working at a studio right now? Uh, yeah, so I'm literally just going to be doing this for the next little bit. Sorry if this is a little bit boring. Um, but yeah, see, like from far away, like this, like it looks, it looks real. Right? Like, <laughs> like it looks like there is a hole there. Um, so I think it's doing a good job at faking um, geometry. Obviously, if you look at it very, very closely, like where I'm at, you can totally tell that I'm faking it. But in movies and video games, it's all about getting away with faking it, right? To save your team on budget, or whatever, and all that, right? Uh, let me double check here. So it's been already half an hour. So yeah, so I'll be streaming for another half an hour. Um, let me just do something like that. Race here. Um, Obviously, this month has been huge for EA with all the sports titles um, being released. So, you might be interested in something I'm working on myself. I started a site for creative streamers with the idea we can all learn faster from each other by sharing our work process. Cool, man. Yeah, we'll uh, send over the link and uh, I'll definitely try and check it out. And I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it for all the holes. So there we go. All right, this is definitely coming along rather nicely now. Um, changed the color on the gold, which now makes it look less um, yellow compared to what it was before. All right, so let me quickly just save that. And now 